The next topic we are going to discuss is inequalities in definite integrals. Most of the times you might have to prove the inequalities involving definite integrals. Sometimes you may also have to find the upper and lower bounds of the integral. When the exact value of the definite integral is difficult to find. Under these circumstances, we can use the following results. Result 1. Modulus of integral a to b f of x dx is less than or equal to integral a to b modulus f of x dx. You can see why this result is true from the area interpretation. The LHS takes the absolute value of the final integral while the RHS gives the sum of all unsigned areas. That is, it won't cancel out the area above and below the x-axis but instead adds their absolute values. Here, equality sign holds in case the graph is on the same side of x-axis in the interval AB. Result 2. If f of x is greater than or equal to g of x on the closed interval AB, then integral a to b f of x dx is greater than or equal to integral a to b g of x dx. Let's see an example. Consider the graphs of functions f and g as you can see on the screen. You can see that f of x is greater than or equal to g of x and the area under f of x is greater than g of x in the closed interval ab. That's nothing but integral a to b f of x dx greater than or equal to integral a to b g of x dx. You can check for yourself if this holds true when f of x or g of x crosses x axis in the interval ab. One special case to consider in this result is when f of x is greater than or equal to 0 on the closed interval ab. In that case, we can safely say that integral a to b f of x dx is greater than or equal to 0.